there are uh, trips where it feels like we've taken one step forward and two step backwards uh, with the government. Um, we had concrete pledges from the president himself just a few weeks ago about the release of political prisoners. We have not seen that. We saw a pledge from the president himself about 200 African Union monitors, and there continues to be uh, games played. As you know, we're a very results-oriented country, and what matters to us is our monitors on the ground helping to figure out whether, uh, uh, whether people are being killed and disappeared. The OHCHR has documented a dramatic spike in the use of torture by the government. So here we are at a time that the government says they are committed to making sure all Burundians feel safe returning to their country at the same time that we see systematic documentation of uh, torture and extrajudicial killing. This is a kind of doublespeak that doesn't build confidence in the government uh, or the path forward. The government of Burundi is, is the driver, not the victim, of this current crisis, uh, whether it's on the political side or the economic side. Um, and as long as they're interested in staying on that course, it's very difficult for those of us who are partners of the government and partners of the people uh, to help. Um, and they have some difficult decisions to make. Uh, but uh, again, uh, when you take steps that make the, uh, the situation worse, like the new uh, banking laws. I mean, forget whatever political points they score with that. There are real lives at stake here with the uh, economic conditions, and this is not a time to create and introduce greater fragility into the economy. Um, uh, it's a time where there should be a serious attitude towards reforms uh, in order to move that forward.